Hello and Namaste friends, welcome back. Today in this video, we are going to create text morph effect using Premiere Pro, which is really easy to create in a very few steps. So before we start our tutorial, as always, let's roll our intro. Okay, so here we are in our Premiere Pro and we have already created a new sequence. So here in the project panel, down in the bottom, you gotta see this new item, select color mat from the new item 1920 by 1080 25 frame per second like the main standard so so i'm going to click ok reality i'm going to select white color and click ok and of course you can give the name of your color mat but for now for the tutorial purpose i'm going to sleep as it is so click ok color mat light i'm going to drag and drop to the timeline reality from the toolbar i'm going to select type tool and of course you can directly press t on your keyboard to enable the type tool so i'm going to type here text text right it's like i'm going to resize this to maybe this size so it's like essential graphic i'm going to center align the text right it's like i'm next and golden show right if you are not seeing the text property or essential graphic panel then go to window and yanity you gotta see essential graphic the tick mark on your essential graphic and you gotta see your essential graphic or text property somewhere on your Premiere Pro. And maybe after two seconds, two seconds of I'm gonna split our text, or you can simply press Ctrl plus K on your keyboard to split the text, or you can select Razor Tool from the toolbar, and you gotta make a split, make a cut. So here we have a two text. In the second text, I'm gonna type here, M-O-R-P-H morph. And of course, I'm gonna center align this. So here we have a text morph, text morph. Yanity effect Magoira, I'm gonna here in the video transition folder and the dissolve folder, you gotta see the cross dissolve or cross dissolve line. I'm gonna drag and drop in between our two texts. So which looks something like this. Rest line, I'm gonna, I'm gonna minimize the duration of this transition to maybe 20 milliseconds. So which looks something like this. Again, in the project panel, in the new item, I'm gonna select adjustment layer, 90, 20 by 1080, okay. So adjustment layer, I'm gonna drag and drop on top of our text layer. I'm gonna trim this to the size of our dissolved transition because we are going to use this adjustment layer as a morph effect, as a morph transition. So I'm gonna go to effect, search for blur, and here we have a Gaussian blur. Drag and drop the Gaussian blur effect to the adjustment layer. Go to effect control and I'm going to place this playhead in the cut or in between the two layer or in the middle of the adjustment layer. And I'm going to type here blurriness to maybe 65% and I'm going to click on the toggle animation. Go to the beginning of the adjustment layer and reset parameter. Again, go to the end of the adjustment layer, reset parameters. So here we have something like this. And of course, don't forget to check the repeat edge pixels. And now I'm going to go to the Lumetric panel and go to the curve. And of course, if you are not seeing a Lumetric panel on your Premiere Pro and go to the window, here we have our Lumetric color effect, tick mark on your Lumetric color and you got to see somewhere Lumetric color panels on your Premiere Pro. Make sure you have selected the adjustment layer, highlighted the adjustment layer and go to the curve from the Lumetric panel and I'm gonna make a mark here and one more mark somewhere here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this mark all the way to the top in this third line, in this third line. And I'm gonna drag this all the way down in the same third line. So, so we make something like this kind of curve. So if we see our text, we are almost done in our morphing text so so let's add a final adjustment layer so we gotta go to the project and again in the new item you gotta select new adjustment layer click ok and i'm gonna drag and drop this adjustment layer on top of our old layer so here in the effect i'm gonna so i'm gonna drag and drop this gaussian blur effect on this adjustment layer and again an oisc noise effect from the noise and grain folder, noise effect, drag and drop to the adjustment layer. And one more, CROP crop effect, 
I'll drag and drop this middle layer. And now I'm gonna go to the Lumetric color. Make sure you have selected the adjustment layer on the top and go to the Lumetric color in the vignette. I'm gonna increase, decrease the amount and create a vignette, something like this to create a vintage kind of look. So I'm gonna go to the effect control, Gaussian blur. This time I'm gonna, I'm gonna set to just five and noise, I'm gonna set to 8% and in the crop effect from the top i'm gonna crop 12 percent from the bottom i'm gonna crop 12 percent and we are done this is how we create the text morph effect in our premiere pro and if you're still watching this video thank you for watching guys and if you are new in this channel please do subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon to get more tutorial like this peace